the Senang Stadium, Jakarta. A packed, noisy, exuberant crowd are here for what are expected to be two gripping finals. Most of them have come to see Indonesia win and you can feel the tension behind the laughter and the singing. The Indonesian public have been looking forward for many months to the possibility that their teams will lift both trophies. To do so, the ladies must defeat China, the holders since 1984, and the men looking for their ninth success in Thomas Cup finals will also need to defeat the holders, this time Malaysia, who beat them in an atmosphere of near delirium in Kuala Lumpur in 1992. So the scene is set, the crowd noisy and expectant. We pick up play with a top singles match on court. Susie Susanti against Ye Zhao Ying in the Yuba Cup. Susie has taken the first game comfortably 11-4. She's 8-5 up in the second as Joe Clark takes up the story. Great smash from Susie Susanti, completely wrong footing her opponent. Yei Zhao Ying just unable to reach that smash, very accurate from Susie. Nine five now to Indonesia, ever closer to this opening. The lights, the crowd, as Indonesia stand at match point. Rudy Goodwin just asking for one more point. And his prayers have been answered. Bang, bang. And Rudy Goodwin takes the men's doubles after a three-set thriller by 15-10, 6-15, 15-8. Well, there's a prominent banner in this stadium that politely invites the Malaysian team to go back empty-handed. And uh, that is exactly what they will do if Ong Yu Ok is unable to beat the Jakarta's favourite son, Ardi Viranata. We pick up play right at the beginning of the match with both players obviously charged up. from on you hop and after the very first rally he raises his fist a gesture of his determination the crowd don't like it Another good smash from the Malaysian. On Yu Hock, coached by former world champion Yang Yang. Ardi's fist also goes in the air. A little bit of gamesmanship between these two players, even at this early stage. The score is now 3-1 in the game, and uh, it's play like this that enabled Ardi Viranata to stamp his authority and run out uh, a comfortable winner, 15-11.
12-10. Well, Jill, that's probably a result most people would have expected, although Ye Zhao Ying certainly did put up a great battle in that second game. But we're now going to move on to what could be the crucial match in this tie. It's between the top doubles players, Lily Tampi and Kanasi from Indonesia, and Chen Ying and Wu Yu Hong from China. As we join them, the score is 12-11 to China. Absolutely fantastic play from all four girls. The big smash from Fanasi, defence from Wu Yu Hong, one smash at Chen Ying down her forehand side, then switches to her backhand for the winner. Indonesian pair, the service back. <laughs> 